LNG's major advantage is that it is an existing technology, since it is already in use as a marine fuel. Historically, LNG was only burned when carried as cargo, but it is increasingly being burned as the fuel of choice. As an existing low flashpoint fuel, the IGF code already provides mandatory provisions for LNG use on board ship, and its storage and handling characteristics are well established. Many see LNG as a transition fuel, something that is cleaner than traditional hydrocarbon fuels and will encourage the development of new engine types and storage solutions that will enable even cleaner fuels to be brought into use. LNG is said to emit 25% less carbon dioxide than traditional hydrocarbon fuels when completely burned. LNG is mostly methane, a hydrocarbon fuel, and is itself a greenhouse gas which traps over 80 times more heat in the atmosphere than carbon dioxide over a 20-year period. This is particularly important when considering the total emissions from LNG, from its production, its use on board, and the possibility that unburned methane may be released into the atmosphere in the engine exhaust. Unfortunately, existing marine engines, particularly medium-speed four-stroke engines, tend to emit unburned methane into the atmosphere. This is known as methane slip. It has been calculated that the total greenhouse gases emitted by burning LNG in such an engine could be 70 to 80 percent higher than when burning conventional fuels. To minimize the storage space required, LNG can be carried as a liquid at atmospheric pressure and minus 162 degrees Celsius. LNG expands approximately 600 times when changing from a liquid to a gas. LNG carried as a liquid must therefore either be stored under pressure or kept very cold. LNG is considered to be non-toxic, but there is the potential for flammable gas leaks, which must be taken into account, both at the design stage and when considering crew training. 